And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. I'm going to bed, because it's like, almost midnight. But yeah, I think there's only a week left until uh, winter gets here, and I am not even remotely ready for that. So this week is pretty much just going to be spent, like, trying to get that last push in for the season to get as much money as possible. Because once uh, winter gets here, a lot of our money sources are going to dry up. That's fine, though. Also, I think we finally met the conditions that we can start doing Cliff's Heart events again. So I think you actually hit six notes of friendship yesterday. Yep. All right. We're gonna go see if we can go fight Cliff later. Oh, also, I think someone needs to be rehired, right? Min, Min needs to be rehired. Okay. We'll do that later. Although after like another week, none of, <laughs> no, you can keep working. After another week, none of you are gonna really be working for a season. We're gonna basically gonna be spending the winter like doing some intense one-on-one -on -one training with all the Harvest Sprites. And by intense, I mean I'm gonna actually do the mini-games every once in a while, just to get them, like, prepared for spring. Because even though I planted a ton this year, next year, oh boy, I plan to go crazy come spring. Like, I think we unlocked strawberries, didn't we? Actually, I kind of want to see, like, What's the most profitable crop for each season? I know pineapples is the best for summer, but it takes forever to get to uh, grow. I kind of want to go do some number crunching just to see, like, over the course of the entire season, what would be the most profitable thing to, like, uh, what is it, to plant? I suspect even though pineapples are, like, individually the most profitable, the fact that they take, like, the majority of the season to grow might actually hurt their overall profits. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some math on this. Also, that's not assuming that, you know, for summer, hurricanes. Hurricanes can throw everything into, like, can just change everything come summer. So we're gonna have to also factor, well, we can't factor that in. That's just random chance. Just in case, like, one year you don't get any hurricanes and the other year you get five. We'll see. But basically, I just want to see how much money I can make in year two. Year two... By the time year two hits, we pretty much, like, upgraded for the most part. At that point, it's just trying to make use of all our upgrades to become the most profitable farm ever. At this rate, I doubt we're going to earn the money needed to get the town cottage, but you never know. I just want to see where we're standing at the end of two years. But anyways, that's not important right now. Right now, we're going to live in the here and now, and that means going to find Cliff. Well, later. I have to take care of my farm work, and then we'll go find Cliff. Oh, wait, you're not old enough to... Yeah, never mind. You're not old enough to, to uh, milk yet. Shouldn't be too much long for ice cream, though. That being said, the second ice cream fish is growing up, I'm gonna use the uh, Miracle Potion we have, just so that we can get the next generation of cows started. Hopefully by the time... So, let's see, the next cow festival is next summer. Hopefully by the time we get there, that cow will be grown up enough that we might have a chance of winning. I forget what the minimum amount of hearts you need to actually win that festival is. I don't know if we'll actually be able to meet it in two years, because that whole stupid... Only be able to maximum or only be able to increase the maximum amount of affection via breeding. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this mechanic to be honest. It does add more strategy, but it also makes it take forever to get like a super awesome cow, which I guess is kind of the point. It might also be the fact that I kind of just impose like a time limit on myself, which is also kind of the thing. So, like, on a normal playthrough, it probably won't be that bad. But I'm trying to get as much done in two years as possible. Anyways, I'm gonna take care of my chickens real quick, and then I'm just gonna let the Harvest uh, Sprites take care of the rest. Because I want to go find Cliff today. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, speaking of Cliff, we do also need to start thinking about getting that house upgrade too, huh? If I want to get married, I need a bigger house. For some reason, even though my house is massive, but... Pretty sure I've said that before. 
Actually, no, I'm definitely sure I said that before. There we go. Alright, everyone out. We'll come back and finish up the farm work later. Uh, first things first, though. Gotta make sure we get something to the Harvest Goddess every day. Actually, when are we due for our next, like, major reward? I've completely lost track of, like, how many gifts I've given. We'll see. It'll be pretty obvious once we get the really big rewards, but for now, meh. Also, at some point, I kind of want to go deeper in the mine. Maybe we'll do that in year two, once I have some better tools and more stamina. The lack of power berries is kind of hurting my ability to go really deep. Then the fact that I don't want to use a save reload trick uh, quite yet. Oh, wait. Cliff, shouldn't you be at work? What are you doing? Silly you, you can't catch bugs in this game. I do like that we're basically forcing Cliff out of his comfort zone in pretty much every hard event so far. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, wait, shouldn't we be hiding for hide and seek? Nope, it's red like a. We're bad at this. Wow, we are really bad at games, aren't we? Then again, we are also carrying like a shit ton of tools in our backpack, so... I mean, no, I obviously let Cliff win that race. Obviously. That was fun, though. You've got playmates now. No, it's nice to see him smile. Yeah, don't you still have... Oh, wait, no, it's Sunday. I guess you have the day off today, don't you? Never mind. For some reason, I always assume that he's working at the time. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, I just realized it's 4 p.m. We have some work we still need to do. Oh, I need to also grab uh, what's-his-face from... One minute. Yeah, we're not going to be able to finish harvesting today. I forgot that event actually did take time. Some hard events don't take time for some reason. I don't know if I can make it in time, actually. What time do you close? Six. Never mind, we can make it. I want to make sure I'm, uh, I hire them on for tomorrow, then. I just want two sprites always harvesting just to make it easier on myself. And which is already past five, so I can't really do any more harvesting or, uh, what is it, shipping today. I'll just have to water whatever they missed. That's fine. Anyways, Mint, what are you doing in here? Come help out. Come help harvest crops for one week. Alright, let's head back. But yeah, come springtime. Can I think how much of the field I actually want to use? I honestly... 
By the time spring gets here, I might just dedicate like two thirds of the field to gra or, uh, to crops and then one third to grass. I definitely want to make sure I still have plenty of grass growing. Obviously, we still need plenty of grass to feed our animals with. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably go cut down some more fodder. Also, I probably should have been cutting down fodder throughout the year. Then I wouldn't have to like rush it at the last second, but I don't know. I'm always paranoid that we're not going to have enough fodder to feed all the animals every day. Because they eat an entire, like, eight squares a day. Then again, I think I have, like, over a hundred squares right now, so it doesn't really matter, but... Still. I just want to make sure we have plenty of grass. Nope, I'm not even done yet. I'm going home again to finish up the day. We'll do a little bit of watering before bed. Oh yeah, watering and cutting grass and then we'll head to bed. Alright, what do you guys miss? Uh, looks like they did a decent enough job today. There's still, yeah, okay, yeah, there are still spots they missed. That's fine. We'll just water as much as possible and then, eh, you know what, maybe we'll just let it grow on its own. You know what, yeah, the rest hasn't even been harvested yet. We'll let them take care of it in the morning. Also, Pete, you're going to be growing up pretty soon. Then I'll finally have a horse I can start riding around town. Making everyone jealous of my awesome horse. They all still have to walk. Then again, Mineral Town isn't really that big. Like, I guess it's dense compared to other towns. Like, there's a lot of people in a small amount of... Well, not a lot, but there's, like, a decent amount of people in a small area. Whereas places like, uh, what is it, Forget-Me-Not Valley, it's pretty big, but it's also pretty sparse. I guess other Harvest Moon Towns are pretty decently in terms... Or pretty decent in terms of, like, density. Anyways, I'm going to bed. Oh wait, before I go to bed, what's on TV today? Also, I just realized I haven't been paying attention to this at all. I'm too busy trying to think of what I need to do tomorrow. Man, that's a bit too close to home. I can't enjoy TV because I'm too stressed out thinking about work. That's not a good sign. Anyways, it's fine. Winter's almost here. Winter, honestly, I kind of like in this game. Oh, oh, my uh, barn is upgraded. Nice. Oh, actually, now that my barn is upgraded... I should probably start thinking about getting the cheese maker. Here, you know what? What day is it today? Monday. Okay, they'll be open. I'm gonna get a cheese maker started. Also, hi, Gray. What are you? Why are the? Oh. I accidentally triggered Gray's next heart event. <laughs> um. Have you seen the dirt under my nails? Sure. I like opulence. Opulence? Oh, I think we just got his heart event item. Oh, yeah, we did. Man, everyone's giving me accessories. I really wish we could actually wear these. But no, they're just items to display, like a trophy. I feel really bad about doing the other hard events. Alright, let's put this away, I guess. Anyways, where was I again? Right, back to work. But yeah, I think we're gonna get that cheese maker taken care of now. 
The Yarn Maker wouldn't be a terrible idea e Actually, yeah, the Yarn Maker might also be a really good idea to get soon. But no, the Cheese Maker is more important at the moment. Because that's basically the thing that's going to be making the most money in the long run. Actually, I guess the Yarn Maker is also pretty good in terms of making money. But yeah, we have a bigger barn now. All my cows still like to just crowd around the left side, but we have a bigger barn now. Okay, I've never actually filled out the barn in this game, so... I kind of want to see just how chaotic it gets in year two. When we have like 16 animals in here. Also, wait, is ice cream grown up? I think ice cream is grown up now. Yeah, I think... Uh, it's hard to tell. Actually, there's one really easy way to tell. Can I milk her? Not yet. Okay, no. They're, uh... Yeah, I don't think they're considered grown up yet. We'll have to see tomorrow. Basically, that's my test of seeing if they're considered adult yet. No, they're not adult. She looks like an adult, but I don't think she's quite fully grown up yet. Because, yeah, she's still too small. Never mind. Anyways, I haven't actually been keeping track of who I've been brushing and who I haven't, but that's fine. But anyways, once ice cream is grown up, we'll use the miracle potion on her. Because now that we have room, it's not going to be that big of a problem. We have room for 16 animals now. Well, 16 livestock. So I guess, yeah, the next major upgrade should probably be the house. I am severely tempted just to buy the materials right now to get started. Well... Maybe. It's actually going to depend on how much it costs. Also, yeah, guys, there's a huge amount of room over here. Come stand over here instead of crowding around the left. Oh well. But yeah, I need to see how much that's going to cost if I just decide to just straight up buy the materials I need. Because I think we can actually trigger uh, Cliff's final heart event now. And then after that, all we need to do is the big house and get a blue feather. And then, boom, we're married. And I do want to make sure we get married as soon as possible just so that we can have our kid sooner than... Uh, sooner rather than later. Just give it a little bit more time to grow up. I don't think we'll ever be able to just, like, get the full grown-up kid. And by grown-up, I mean toddler, because... Yeah, for some reason, still in these games, you can only have your kid up to a toddler. It's weird. I like... That's one reason I do like A Wonderful Life, though. You can actually see your kid grow up. They're not, they're not like a 50-year-old toddler by the end. Oh, well. Anyways, we have some work to do. I'm going to work until like around 10 and then I'm going to get that maker made. So I think, yeah, first thing we're going to make is a cheese maker. And then after that, we'll progress to a yarn maker. The butter maker is honestly something I don't even remotely care about. But I guess we should get it at some point. Just have butter. It's still a shame you can't make like specialty butters and cheese. I want to see what coffee cheese is like. Okay, coffee cheese. Honestly, I would say coffee cheese sounds horrible, but... Like, I've had cheese foam on, like, milk tea, and it's actually pretty good, so... I don't know, maybe coffee cheese might actually be a delicacy? And, like, I'm sure they make fruit cheeses out there, right? I assume. Like, I'm sure someone out there has infused, like, strawberries into a block of cheese. That just sounds like something people would do. That being said, saying that out loud does sound pretty disgusting. But still, I can see someone doing that. Just to, like, try it out. Be adventurous. Anyway, this is around 10. I'm gonna get going. Actually, let me do a little bit of watering and then we'll get going. 
I just want to get that maker started as soon as possible. Alright, okay, yeah, we should go. I'm out of water and I'm out of stamina. Maybe we'll also stop by the inn for some lunch. And yeah, I think it's also... I think we've met the conditions to trigger Cliff's next heart event. We just need to go home, basically. We'll do that when we get back home. Anyways, I would like to commission a cheesemaker, please. Five days? Sure. Alright, so in five days we'll have a cheesemaker, so that's like... Actually, that's the very first day of winter. Well, that's good timing. Anyways, I'm also going to see if I can grab lunch and then we'll head back. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do in town today. Oh, you know what we should probably be doing? We should also probably be befriending Ellen. I... Why do I keep hitting quit? I think we have enough time to befriend her enough to uh, get some win special winter stuff. Well, no, the problem with that is... Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do it this year, but basically if you befriend Ellen early enough, she can actually make you a sock for winter, if you provide her with yarn. Unfortunately, I don't know if we can meet the timing this year. We'll see. Anyways, I'm heading home now. Oh, I should also make sure I sell all these eggplants I'm holding on to. There we go. All right, final heart event time. Oh, this is just straight up a date now. Also, yes, yeah, sh you should definitely be at work right now, Cliff. Oh well, I'm sure they give him like all the spare time off he wants. Alright, so what are we grabbing? I see bamboo. And that's pretty much it. I literally found nothing. But okay. Yeah, I think they kept this vague just in case, uh, just to like correspond to whatever season you're in. Alright, so what do we want to do here? You know what? Let's just give them all to the goddess. Maybe we'll, like, skip ahead a couple of steps, but no. Let's give them to the townspeople. No, it's free stuff, Cliff. Don't worry about it. I do it all the time. Actually, wait, I do do it all the time, don't I? This is kind of my M.O. I really wonder what we actually gave them. It's fall, so I'm assuming mushrooms? That's something people do, like, while foraging in the fall, right? Everyone loves you, Cliff. Duh. And with that, we've met the conditions for marriage. Now all we need to do is upgrade our house, get ourselves a blue feather, and we're good. But with that, I think we'll actually end the episode here then. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, we're going to be wrapping things up for our fall. Well, probably not next time, but in like an episode or two, we'll be wrapping things up for fall. So, till then. <laughs>